everybody and welcome to another Tokyo Kitchen Chat! How you doing? Welcome! Today we are going to be making Ichigo Daifuku, which is strawberry mochi. It's a little bit of mochi on the outside, then a little bit of bean, and then a nice big fat strawberry on the inside. And we're doing it with a little bit of a twist today. Usually it has like red bean on the inside. Sometimes you'll have white bean, which is what I've got today as well. But also, I decided to do something fancy with sakura on uh, because it's cherry blossom season, sakura season. Uh, we can't go outside, uh, but I thought, why not bring the sakura indoors? So it's just a white bean, but they've added uh, sakura leaves and some coloring and stuff, and it's really cute. Now, truth be told, I've never actually made Ichigo Daifuku before and heck I haven't even read the recipe yet but I read the ingredients so I know I got everything so uh, let's do this together. If you guys aren't familiar with Ichigo Daifuku uh, they usually sell it at various places. Uh, they sell them in like some touristy places but you can also just get them at the grocery store or at like specific sweet shops. It's like just a traditional nice sweet that is uh, good and tasty. You can get them at some kombini and they're I. They're not bad, but the strawberries are usually really small and a little bit tart. I guess the first thing I should do is show you what ingredients we have. So the list of ingredients that I'll be using today is strawberries, white sugar, shira tamako, which is rice flour that's used to make uh, dango or uh, yeah, mochi, katakuriko, which is potato starch, shiro an or white beans, and sakura an, which is white beans with cherry blossom stuff in it. Because this is Kitchen Chats, I'll just uh, be making this and telling you how life's going and giving you updates and everything along the way. So feel free to sit back, relax, and enjoy, and maybe make some, uh, some Ichigo Daifuku for yourself too. Oh, the strawberries smell so good. That's one of my favorite things about strawberry season here. Every time I go through the store, just the smell of the strawberries is just so overpowering and wonderful. So the recipe I'm using today is from Cookpad. The recipe is just, it just says, Ichigo Daifuku Shira Tamako o Renji de Chin. So, you can, using uh, shira tamako, you can make it in the microwave, ichigo daifuku. So today I'm just going to try and make eight of them. I think that sounds pretty straightforward. Uh, and if they're really great, I'll make more, because I think this should be, should be easy. I shouldn't say that out loud. I feel like I jinx myself. Okay, so I'm going to choose eight strawberries and then wash them and take the tops off. I think I just gotta take the tops off and then uh, dry them. But yeah, while I do this, how are you guys doing? I know these are crazy times, so I hope you're doing okay out there. For me, I've been taking things really, really easy. Just really slow, taking my time. Just, yeah, figuring things out one little bit at a time. Some big updates for me is uh, I started reorganizing the house. So because there's an extra room, I've started turning that into an office. So yesterday I moved my desk and my computer into this, the new streaming room and everything, uh, which is really cool. I also got some temporary wallpaper uh, and made one of the walls yellow, which is a bold color, but you know, I wanna be more bold in my life. Can't play it safe all the time. But yeah, and because now the, uh, the desk is gone in the bedroom area, uh, I've been able to move the bed over. So now there's like a heap of space there and I get to wake up and see the sky, which is really, really cool. It's super cozy. I still want to get a rug for the bedroom and a rug for the office as well. Uh, so I still got some stuff that I want to work on, uh, but things take time, so it's all good. Okay. okay, so I've got my strawberries ready to go. I'll just put them to the side for now. The next thing I need to do is weigh out eight little balls of bean paste, uh, and they need to be 30 grams each. I think I'm going to do four of the sakura-an and four of the shiro-an. Have you guys ever tried bean paste? I used to not be a fan of it, um, especially red bean paste, because I always thought that it was going to be chocolate, and so expecting chocolate I would bite into something, and uh, bean paste kind of has this, this dry texture, and if you're expecting a nice bit of chocolate it's a little bit of a surprise. But uh, if you're not a fan of red bean, I actually really recommend trying white bean. I'm a huge fan of white bean. It just, I don't know, it's got less of a, of a flavor, and it's more just like a sweet paste. Kind of reminds me of marzipan, but without that kind of flavor. Maybe the texture is a little similar. To me, anyway. There's my four balls of white bean. Let's get some cherry blossom. It's so pretty. Okay. 
It is sad that we can't go out and do Hanami this year and go and picnic under the cherry blossoms, but uh, I guess this will make up for it. Okay, I've got my little bean balls. So cute. I love the, the cherry blossom ones. The next step is to shape the bean around the strawberries. So I've just got a little bit of cling wrap in my hand and I'm going to start with a white bean one. Just press it down, get a nice base for the strawberry. Put it in. I should be able to just massage it <laughs> all the way up. I'm being very gentle as well. I don't want to break the strawberry. I don't want too much of it showing down the bottom, but it is kind of cute to have a little bit of the strawberry showing at the top. I've seen that done before. I take that and put it down. Good to go. Okay. I'm just going to do that with the rest of them. During this time of uh, isolation, I've been getting up to some fun stuff. I've just been playing like Animal Crossing, organizing things, been streaming quite a bit. Uh, I've been chatting on the phone to friends and my family a lot, which is very fun. And my friends and I will do this thing where we will uh, watch a movie and during the movie we'll text each other our opinions and like our reactions. <laughs> it's cool because I don't have to commit to video chat or anything, but we can still connect over a movie. It's, I don't know, it's, it's fun. So now we're going to move on to the Sakura An ones. Also, I'm glad I'm learning how to make Ichigo Daifuku at home because it's actually, so far, really easy and I think they'd make really great presents. And they're really good with all kinds of dietary restrictions as well. Okay, cute! So these are done for now, so I'm just going to put them to the side until the mochi exterior is good to go. Okay, so 100 grams of the Shira Tamako. And then I need to add 120 cc's of water. Okay, it says I also need 50 grams of sugar. 50 grams. I never realized how much sugar is in uh, Ichigo Daifuku. <laughs> it's quite a bit of sugar, even just in the, the mochi. All right, now I need to stir this until it dissolves. It's interesting, the more I mix it, the kind of wetter it gets. just said to put a lid on it so uh, unfortunately I don't have any kind of lid so I've, I've used a little bit more cling wrap uh, and I'm going to be putting this into the microwave for two minutes. Okay I just took it out and now I have to stir it. Oh geez, I wonder if I should cook it for less time. again for like another minute. Ugh. I will put it back in for another... It says a minute and a half. I might just do another minute? Okay, one more minute. While that is happening, I am going to flour my surface. So I'm using katakuriko. Just put a little bit of potato starch on the surface. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Now I gotta do this while it's warm, but it is actually like hot. <laughs> Come on. Ow! It's a hot bowl. Oh no. Oh no, I haven't floured my hands yet. Oh, I shouldn't have touched it. Oh no. Okay. Oh man, I'm so nervous about this bit. Alright. Oh wow, this is such a feeling. <gasps> Oh no, the hair in my mouth. Ha! <laughs> it's so hot. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! You turn it into eight balls. That's not good, that's seven. Take a little bit from here. 
here. Okay, now for the hard bit. I guess I'll just go for it. I guess I'll just try. I'm so nervous. Oh, I should have made it bigger. Ah, uh, oh no. You can do it. Oh wait, I should seal it at the bottom. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, I realized my mistake this time. I will seal it at the bottom. But it still works. Okay, one is done. It's not cute, but that's okay. I will get better at it. This is like making little pizza doughs. So this should work if I put it upside down like that. Come on, you can do it. You just gotta get over this huge amount of bean. Oh, I feel like that's way too much bean. Look at that! Oh, it's got a little pink top! Yes! Yes! Oh yeah, that's what we want. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna go for a pink one just to see how it goes. The sakura-an, the, the cherry blossom bean, it smells like uh, sakura mochi, the, uh, like the pickled kind of sakura flavor. So it should be good. I'm excited for it. Okay, there's a pink one. Cute! Oh, this is exciting. There's too much bean. All right. Oh, woo. So sticky. Okay, just got two more to go. This one's a little ugly, but that's okay. We love them all the same. Just put them all on a plate. <laughs> I might not even put this guy on a plate. <laughs> okay, woohoo! Here they are! Look at them, they're so cute! I might take some uh, nice sexy shots of them uh, and cut one of them open and see what it looks like. And then yeah, I'll have, I'll have a little taste. We did it! We did it. so so beautiful. I love how they look when they're cut apart because it shows all of the layers because when they're just by themselves they look a little bit like and eh, not much going on but when they're cut apart it's just so beautiful. I'm gonna try one like whole. I'm not gonna put the whole thing in my mouth but one of the best things about it is biting into a whole thing. It's a little bit messy but I don't know there's something satisfying about it. Okay here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh my god. The mochi is so chewy. Mmm. It's delicious! Ah, oh, so sweet. Way better than what you can get at the convenience store. Alright, I'm gonna try one of the cherry blossom flavored ones. There's that little like salty pickled kind of flavor as well, which actually works really well. To be very honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of sakura mochi because I don't know, the pickle flavor is just a bit too strong for me, but when you add a strawberry, it's so good. I have to be careful with how many I eat because they're so easy to eat, but there's so much sugar in these. Okay, I'll have one more. One more. Just wonderful. Ah, oh, excellent. Well, this has been a nice day, guys. Thank you very much for coming to join me. And uh, let me know if there's anything that you would like me to cook, because yeah, I'm home a lot now, so I can do more kitchen chats. But yeah, just let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any suggestions. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, or hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. But thank you for watching, hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there, and I will see you in the next video. Jamit!